What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be continuing our tutorial series for the A64 Delta uh, Apache Longbow Official Project mod. Uh, now, uh, this video will be um, premised around uh, you having seen uh, my first video. Uh, so if you haven't done so, I highly encourage you to check it out. Uh, that uh, will be uh, linked somewhere either in the video description or in the pinned comment below. Um, but uh, today's tutorial, we're going to be going over the uh, weapons, um, how to uh, was uh, your different weapon systems, uh, and how to employ them correctly um, as per being used in the pilot seat. Um, now, a disclaimer, uh, if you were going to be using um, the uh, weapon systems uh, from the pilot seat, say you are the only pilot, uh, you are going to need to have a uh, AI in your CPG seat. Uh, so here you can see I have a AI gunner um, up front. Um, if you do not have that, you will not be able to use your weapon systems um, correctly. Um, actually, hardly at all, really. Um, so make sure that you have that in place. Uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, get going here. Um, so, one of the first things you're going to want to do uh, is go into your configure and your controls. And then at the drop down, uh, this is not configure add ons, it's base game controls. Uh, well, quote unquote base game controls. Uh, you can take the drop down, scroll down to mods, and then Apache, uh, A64 Delta Apache official. Uh, it'll bring you here. Uh, so you want to get yourself familiar with all of these uh, codes here. Uh, your WAS uh, gun and rockets are um, by default set to 1 and 2 on the uh, hotbar. Um, I highly recommend that you change the key binding on this uh, as 1 and 2 are the engine on and off uh, hotkeys. Um, it can create a little bit of a problem whenever you're trying to go and select your gun or your rockets and you accidentally turn off your uh, engine. Um, it's less than ideal. Uh, so go ahead and get yourself uh, familiar uh, with these. Um, the main ones you're going to want are your WAS guns, rockets, missiles, your master safe, your missile advance, uh, and then you're going to want your uh, LRFD uh, second detent lays. Uh, this is going to be for when we use the uh, laser guided munitions. Um, and then we have our site select so we can switch between uh, using our HMD TADS fixed or fire control radar uh, for our method of aiming uh, or our site method here. Uh, so uh, go ahead and make sure, like I said before, uh, make sure that you get these commands um, or these key, uh, keys all uh, all bound to uh, something that works for you. So what we're going to go ahead and start off with uh, is we're going to um, go and get into our uh, TSD here. Um, again, I'm using a modded map. Uh, so the GPS isn't going to show up correctly, but that doesn't matter since I do have uh, my symbology that I need here. Uh, so we can actually talk a little bit about uh, some of the symbology that we have here. Uh, if you'll notice, we have uh, a couple different uh, types of um, symbology coming up uh, from the islands out uh, in front of us here. If I turn the aircraft over here, you can see you got some uh, some islands out here. Um, so. Uh, just uh, real quick here, well, uh, you see these uh, this wide uh, H uh, looking symbologies uh, over here and some over here. Uh, those are to indicate a tracked vehicle, so anything that runs off of tracks, typically, uh, you know, main battle tanks, um, or, uh, some, uh, some of your BMPs and things of that nature uh, will run off of tracks. Uh, you have a uh, this triangular uh, symbology right here, uh, that's to indicate a uh, surface to air uh, type uh, vehicle uh, so that can be um, anything uh, typically it's like a uh, like a Tunguska or a Shilka uh, it could even be like a C-Ram um, 
or even just a radar, uh, like a surface to air radar. Um, this will come up as uh, with the triangular uh, symbology. Uh, we have the uh, the circular uh, symbology right here. Uh, those indicate uh, wheeled uh, vehicles of some kind. Uh, so that can be anything from a UAZ truck or troop transport uh, vehicle to uh, like a BTR-80 or BTR-70, you know, things of that nature. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and get us started with here, uh, since we got some distance on, uh, on these vehicles, uh, we're going to go ahead and actually uh, switch our page here to our weapon page uh, so we can see all of our munitions here. Um, and I'm actually going to kick this off by using uh, radar guided munitions. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and was our missiles. Now if you notice, um, it starts off with our uh, laser guided munitions are currently uh, first being loaded here. Um, but we want our radar guided uh, munitions here indicated with the, uh, the R uh, on, the, uh, on the missile um, symbology on the uh, MFD here. Uh, so we're going to want to go to our missile advance uh, key. Uh, so if you go into your uh, configure, your controls, uh, you have uh, missile advance here defaulted uh, to F. Uh, so we're going to hit that key. Now we have our radar guided munitions uh, set up here. Um, I'm going to take my weapons off of safe and now we can tell uh, that our weapons are armed, uh, judging by the uh, yellow uh, indication here, with the, the black checker uh, saying arm. Um, and to select our targets, we're going to hit R, and we're going to just cycle through uh, one at a time until we get to the target that we are looking to engage here. And so we can get a, um, we can verify through the uh, IHADs uh, with the little box here, or uh, we can check our map our TSD here uh, and we can cycle through. What I'm looking for is that uh, surface to air uh, vehicle with the mark for the uh, triangular uh, symbology. So I'm going to keep going through and hitting R. Just keep hitting it. A lot of targets here. There we go. So now I have the triangle um, is highlighted here. Uh, we have a yellow with the yellow box uh, surrounding it, uh, meaning that we have it uh, selected. Uh, we can look up here at our IHADs and we can see the box is lined up on the uh, on the triangle here. Um, so we can confirm that we have the correct uh, target sighted. <clears throat> so once we do this, uh, we are good to go ahead and engage. Got our time of flight down there in the bottom right of the IHADs. And that is impact. And the symbology for that vehicle has gone away because we have destroyed that vehicle. Uh, so we can confirm um, if we wanted to even go into thermals here. Uh, we can see the plume of smoke coming out uh, right where our uh, laser is uh, pointed at or where our, um, our radar was targeting. Um, there's no symbology. Uh, we can confirm vehicle was destroyed um, and you can select multiple uh, multiple vehicles to, uh, to destroy so say we wanted to hit uh, multiple vehicles uh, back to back we can do that as well so I can go one two three and I sent uh, three uh, AGMs out at the same time destroying three additional vehicles uh, all simultaneously. Um, and of course, if we were to load down more um, AGMs, we could engage uh, up to 16 uh, vehicles if we had all uh, radar guided munitions uh, aboard the aircraft. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get us in a little bit closer here because uh, I want to uh, showcase the laser guided uh, AGMs. All right. So now I have uh, the uh, laser guided munitions uh, set up by using my missile advance uh, key to select the laser guided. Um, now what we're going to look for is our uh, LRFD uh, 
excuse me, our uh, LRFD uh, second detent lays G. Now this is a hold down this key in order for this to work. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna actually go into uh, my thermals here. Yep, okay, switch to manual fire, there we go. So now when I hold G, uh, I have this box coming up with this laser down there. Uh, now with the box expanded in uh, the way that it is currently uh, means that it is locked on and I am in constraints to fire off my, uh, my missile at it. Um, if I were to switch to say here, uh, this is way too far down. Um, the box is now small uh, and it's a dotted line, meaning that I'm not picking up uh, the laser nor am I in constraints to fire at what I'm looking at. So. Here, I'm picking up the uh, laser, but I'm not uh, in constraints for it. Or, I'm sorry, that might be the other way around. Um, but, uh, so here, uh, the box is expanded. I'm laser on target. I'm, okay, here, I'm laser on target. My box is, is expanded, and it is a solid line all around, indicating that I'm tracking my laser and my missile is in uh, constraints to be fired uh, at whatever it is I'm aiming at. So I'm going to go ahead and fire. I might have to re -waz. There we go. That was impact. So now that we uh, went through and used uh, all of those missiles, uh, what we're going to uh, talk about here uh, is actually our uh, rockets. Go ahead and was the rockets. Um, so something to talk about here uh, real quick is uh, so how to aim the rockets. Um, so if we look up and down, we notice that the I-beam is, is moving up and down. However, it's also moving to the right and to the left a little bit. Now, a lot of people uh, will confuse this with uh, the I beam actually with, with the I beam being the targeting uh, reticle. Uh, it is not the targeting reticle. Um, what that is indicating is the rocket pod's um, vertical position. So, what do I mean by that? So, if we go into third person here, and if I look down, the rocket pods aim down. If I look up, the rocket pods aim up. So the rocket pods are looking up and down to try its their best to get in line with whatever it is I'm looking at. So let's say we lower some altitude here. We have a vehicle right about here. Uh, and I want to try to hit that. But we're at pylon limit, right? Uh, so you see that? We're going to go ahead and lower here. All right. So now I have my rockets uh, armed, and I want to try to hit uh, that truck down there. So I'm going to look down. I can, uh, th these are uh, area effect uh, munitions, um, so they're not going to be precise. But if I wanted to, say, try to strafe the target, now. It's important to understand, rockets are going to always aim in the direction of the nose of the aircraft and will uh, only go up or down uh, uh, by a certain degree. I, I don't remember what the specific uh, uh, degree parameters are. Um, but so, for example, our nose is indicated by the, uh, by the green diamond at the center of the screen uh, along the horizon. 
Um, and then we have our pylons are, are uh, aiming slightly down because we're looking slightly down uh, about where the, uh, the I-beam is. So judging by where the nose is and where the I-beam is, it means that the uh, missiles are going to impact somewhere between um, directly uh, below the nose, so that diamond, but, uh, it's going to be slightly to the left of the I-beam. So if I fire, that's where the missiles go. Uh, same is true, uh, or the reverse is true. Uh, if I switch, if I look over to the left slightly, uh, now the I-beam is off to uh, the left, meaning that the rockets are going to impact um, to the right of the I-beam directly below the nose of the aircraft. It says if I go up here, the missiles are going up. If I go down here, this is going down. And even more so, this is going down here. So it's a little nuanced, um, takes some getting used to. Um, but uh, you know, just spending a, a little bit of time uh, practicing uh, with the rockets, you get it down in, uh, in no time. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna go over uh, is actually going to be the uh, gun. So right now we're, we're currently uh, sighted in with our HMD, uh, meaning that wherever I look, the gun looks. Uh, you'll see that second reticle that's kind of lagging behind my iHads. That second reticle is going to be our uh, actual uh, gun here. So what I like to do is I like to use my pinvis here uh, and try to aim with this. Uh, and more or less the gun will just shoot and aim wherever I'm looking. Um, but we are also using a fire control radar. I wanted to do my sight select to my FCR. My gun is currently selected on the vehicle. All I have to do is just keep the gun within constraints to be able to aim at the target. And so I'm given that uh, that warning, uh, the elevation limit and the azimuth limit uh, in the bottom center of my uh, eye hats. And I can keep firing at this all day long until I run out of ammo. Um, also worth noting, uh, with the gun, you have burst limits. You have uh, 10, 20, 50, 100 in all. Um, typically, I like to run either 20 or 50. Um, 10 is okay, but I mean, I find myself sometimes, uh, depending on what my targets are, usually having to use more than 10 rounds at a time. Um, again, just depends on what you're engaging. Um, now, if you slave it to your HMD, you can also go into thermals and use it this way. Uh, I find that you generally get better accuracy in thermals like this. Alright, so now that we got uh, that out of the way, uh, we can uh, go ahead and place our weapons on safe here. So I'll go ahead and deselect the... Um, gun here and then hit uh, our safety here and uh, put our weapons back on safe but uh, that's actually going to uh, conclude the video for today um, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys were able to learn something and take something new away from uh, from this video um, if you guys did enjoy it um, please drop a like on the video letting me know that you are enjoying this content and would like to see more like it um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to uh, get around to them and answer them to the best of my ability. 
Uh, but with that, I wish you all a fantastic day. Bye, guys.